What's up guys? I'm Philly. This is my channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the positive shit that you put out because I, I, w I went out yesterday and the lack of communication between human beings was disturbing to me. Like it, it was disturbingly lonely feeling that I felt when I was in the store and I went into the store and I asked the dude, like I had to wait for some, uh, an approval for something. And then, so it was, the chick was on hold for a long time and then I had to pee and I'm like, can I use your bathroom? And he's like, oh, we can't let public use the bathroom. I said, I'm spending this and I'm a woman, bruh. And he goes, I go, you don't have a bathroom? He goes, well, we don't have a public... Because he kept saying, we don't have a bathroom. I go, you don't got a bathroom. That must be tough. And he says, no, we don't have a public bathroom. I said, karma's a bitch, my friend. And he goes, Dunkin' Donuts don't even do it. You know, so I go, oh, oh, so there's that monkey see, monkey do shit. You know what I mean? I said, I bet if I start pissing all over your floor, you carry me back to that motherfucker. I just let karma handle it. You know, uh, a few years ago, I probably would have, like, put my hands on him. That's kind of ignorant. That's how ignorant I was. I was ignorant. And I was childish. And I'm not that anymore. And now I just let um, the universe handle shit from me. But it was just crazy. So then I wound up having to go to uh, Macy's. And I, you know, it just... I was grateful that there was one close, I guess. I mean, I'm, all, I'm always the kind of person where I look at the positive in every situation. You know, it's like, well, your house blew up. I, you know, the roof was leaking. Uh, you know, it's better than us blowing up. I'm just that person. I don't know if I always was because I don't even remember. I was high most of my life. But now I'm that person. So maybe I was that person initially. And because I was around certain people, my choices. I started becoming a little less like myself, right? Seven or six could mean something. Standing your ground in victory and success. This might be one of those positive messages we don't get a lot. But you know, every time that there that this comes out, you know that card comes out. So let's get down. Hmm? Flirtation. Yeah, you, well, you definitely, we know, if you know, like, I came here to get down in this lifetime, okay? I did not come here to waste my life on drugs and sex and drinking and fucking shopping for shit that I forget I even have it, but now I can't pay this bill and it's freeing, not caring what people think. Talk. Ooh, damn, okay. Ooh, yep. Mm -mm. Victory and success. I want to get a few cards because, I mean, what I'm seeing immediately, but sometimes I don't really like... Uh, starting a um, story and then having it change a few times, but I guess I'm going to do it anyway. And I, what I do see is now that the stand, obviously standing your ground and victory and success together are, I mean, what, what this is like mighty mouse, superwoman, Superman shit to me. I do see that now there may be apologies coming towards you with the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands and Page of Cups. What is this? Did that even flip? Uh uh. Eight of Wands. For somebody, your kid may be coming towards you. With the truth. There may be somebody that wants to uh, apologize to you. You may get some kind of um, text message or phone call or something. It would be quick communication. So text, phone call, I don't know, messenger or something about some truth. Your kid may be coming to see you because um, she or he knows the truth about something. What The, the victory and the success, I mean, literally, it's... I almost don't even want to continue this because I want to just keep it at that. But I was just thinking this too a few minutes ago. Us as humans, there's qualities and traits, you know, whether we created them and then roll with it or not. But what I believe is we need dark 
to balance us empaths out because we'll be too fucking kind in this bitch. And that's not working. So would it be really a good thing to get rid of darkness or evil? I know you can't really get rid of dark, but you know what I mean? We, we need that. I feel like we need it. But anyway, with these coming out, it's like, you know, but I always know that when this happens because of the way the world is, there's going to be people that are like this because you're like this. Mm, more, please. More, please. Hmm. Hmm. This sounds like This is like immature love, though. If I were to put this together, it's that you are solid. I, I don't need to think again. I don't need to phone a friend, bitch. Okay? I don't need to do a 50-50. What I need to do is just make a solid decision and stand my ground that I will not get into another immature, childish relationship. Because this is me here. That's what I want to get. I mean, that's definitely here. I'm afraid to ruin it. All right, tell me. <laughs> I'm afraid to ruin it. <laughs> hmm. You may have a lot. Look, I don't know. If, if you may have somebody, if you're with somebody, there may be a lot of people what, like looking at you, noticing you, that want to come towards you. But they know with this Ace of Swords, like, don't even come at me on some flutter. You feel me? Like, And that's, that, that's messing with somebody or people. It's like, I want to here offer this, go towards them. But it's like you, you're you reading these people or you're just like a human lie detector. And so you're firm on this. Mm -hmm. You won't deal with any third party situations. You won't deal. It doesn't really seem like. You're firm at whoever you're bringing into your life because this seems like friends is what it seems like. I won't even accept Page of Cup offers from friends because I need what I put out. So whether it's friends or relationships or whatever, it doesn't matter. You will not accept Page of Cups when you're giving Queen of Cups or King of Cups. Big boy, big girl love. Cut it out. So now what? It, it's now what? Yeah, you holding out for marriage? Is that what you're doing? You want somebody who's stable, bitch. Yes, okay? I don't give a shit about this anymore. That would be great if that was that. What was it? Um, Abu? <laughs> so now, right. Yeah, I want somebody that can manifest with me. I don't want somebody who's manipulative. Huh? I want somebody like this. Can I get a what, what? That's what somebody wants, right? I want equal give and take in this bitch. Don't come at me with no bullshit, huh? You need to help me balance myself out. I balance you out. But bitch, when you walk in the door, you better be somewhat balanced to begin with. Don't come in here all fucking seesaw looking like this and shit and expect we're not fixers anymore. Boom. Empaths. Men and women. We're not fixing people anymore. I don't feel like it's right to even say fix because in my own humble opinion, I feel like it's rude to say that somebody needs fixing. I say we assist people. We help assist people by what? Leading by example, planting a seed and letting them make the decision. When people feel forced or like they're being pushed to do things, but most people don't realize the whole matrix is that, but that's a lot. That's a heavy, that's a lot of heavy shit at one time. So We'll leave that. But I mean, um, I hear a phone. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. I'm not, I didn't realize that 
um, myself. It was weird because I could hear it ringing or I could feel it, but it was on silent. For those of you who are so sensitive, that just happened where my phone was ringing, but it was on silent. It was over there. I can't even see it. It caught my attention. It's like I felt it creepy, but there's a lot of shit, creepy shit happening. Like not creepy, but if you weren't so like grounded, you'd be freaked the fuck out. Like when I got up today, this chair I'm on, like it swivels, but I get up and it's a habit for me to hold it. So it doesn't move before I walk away. Same spot. Every time this motherfucker started slowly turning for honestly, ask your pendulum. It was over five minutes, just turning and turning slow like something was pushing it i asked my pendulum i go is that a spirit doing that and it said yes i said is it a good spirit it said no i could tell it was like a na -na 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 -na. so i sat in the chair and i was like i don't even know how this goes because i get down with both they don't bother me you know you want to move furniture cool uh but yeah i just said oh no you don't have any control here mm. Like, I don't really like talking about demons. It's just weird to me because I don't, it's not a demon, but I don't like talking about spirits as if, because I feel like a lot of them are like this too in that realm as well. And I don't really like talking, like saying evil spirits and stuff. Demons are different, right? I don't know. How did they even get created? Were they people who just, did, is that a manifestation of somebody who lived in the dark so many lifetimes? Like, that's all they know? That they eventually, like, in that realm, and then others become angel, like, angelic. So much we don't know, right? Anyway, sorry about that, because now I'm distracted. Anyway, you guys are probably saying to yourself, you were talking about this. Yeah, I fucking don't remember, but what the cards are saying to me is that you want somebody that's a manifester, somebody that has inner strength, somebody that's like this. I would prefer you came to um, me already like this, but we can work on some shit, right? I don't want no thieves, no cheaters, no liars, no nothing, no manipul shit. No manipulators. Yeah, I'm cutting them out. I'm blocking you. Sorry. I'm blocking your ass. We can't do this anymore. I don't want nobody doing shit like this on me. No black magic. I don't want no bully. I don't want somebody feeling like they have control of me or I don't want somebody freaking treating me with disrespect and not, not knowing my worth. Let's get some lettuce. Hmm? Do you hear that high pitch? Ah, oh, thank you, spirit guides. Real rap. I'm sitting here in the like silence. I hear a very high pitched, super in my ear. But I know that us sensitive people also hear frequency other people don't hear. It's great. People, th you know, being an empath is. If there's more downers than than uppers, you feel me? In my old life, there used to be more uppers. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I, I was sitting here in silence, and I heard this weird frequency. It was like throbbing frequency. It wasn't consistent. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? I asked my pendulum. I go, am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? And it said yes. And I go, is this a frequency I'm hearing? And it said yes. And I was like, oh, it's in motherfucking towers, yo. That's what it said. I can hear the pulsating when it's got to be dead silent, though, because they're right there. Yo, it sounds like it's doing damage. It sounds like it's slowly taking people out. Let's get some letters here. What can you tell me about this situation? Please. So they know that if they come to this goddess, they got to come with, with truth. Z. No woe is me shit. No bullshit from past relationships with the five of cups like, and the three of cups. No talking about your exes and saying how they were the one always and you were, you know what I mean? No gaslighting, no manipulation. P, Z, P. No take your zipper down on the first date. I mean, unless I feel like the shit. Z, P. It said there was three cards that came out. I didn't feel like asking the pendulum. I'll see whatever comes out now. Okay. 
if you don't get a hold of this, you're going to be at risk. But I'm not even going to incorporate that because this shit is so great. I love it. Let me just see what ZPK is. Zero pole gain. When the zeros, poles, and gain input arguments contain numeric value. Let me see what it means in the Urban Dictionary. A new acronym for people with uncommon sexual practices. Thank you, spirit guides. You no longer, you guys, you know, I think they're so funny. It's almost like sometimes depending on what comes through, I can tell which spirit I feel like, like a friend. If it's like a friend of mine or, an, or a relative of mine, if it seems like their sense of humor, it's kind of cool because I'll sit there and think something like that's who this reminds me of. So nobody that wants to uh, bring third parties, no orgies, I'm guessing, no llamas, no midgets. So this is good. <laughs> this, this is good. Okay. No animals allowed in all senses, right? Correct, correct, correct. All right, let, let's let's start over. Let's get another message because I'm pretty pretty sure there's something else that they want to talk about. It, it can't just all be this, you know, this butterflies. And But who knows? Maybe one day the world will be like this when we're not here anymore, but we'll know that we had something to do with starting it or being part of it or whatever. What else? Damn. Storyteller? Is this a good storyteller? Oh, Angel. Now, this could always go both ways as well. Michael. Someone's name could be Michael. Tell me about this story. Oh. Now, what I'm seeing here, making up tales that harmed others, I'm seeing that somebody told some tales on an angel. This is somebody who wasn't loyal to you. If this is a friend, they weren't loyal. If this is a relationship, they weren't loyal or faithful to you. Somebody told a, talked a lot of shit on this earth angel. And whoever this person was acted like they were what you actually. <laughs> who is this, please? Somebody from your past? A very immature what did they say? What was the story? What was the story about? Talk to me about this story that you guys had a relationship or this is somebody that either somebody, this is somebody you had a relationship in the past, told a lot of stories on you. Uh, we broke up and, oh, you know, I mean, I got something from them. I don't know. They must have cheated and this motherfucker did or she did put a how fits, right? Or... Yeah, man, I was always cleaning up after them, you know. I mean, it's just, it's just I was always putting gas in the car and this out of the other. And then it turns out that it was the opposite of that. That's what I mean. Like, I don't know. Are they mad because you walked away from them? For some of you, somebody walked away from you prematurely and they're paying for it now. This is definitely somebody who didn't realize that they were in the presence of an earth angel. What draws you to these guys? This is definitely, I feel like for Divine Feminine, this is a dude that you dated in the past. They could have said that you were crazy. Somebody said that you were crazy, Two of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You moved on from this. Yep. You moved on from this. And then what happened? Walked away. Somebody said they walked away from you too. Possibly they could have said, yeah, man, I don't know. Like, I just got to stay, stay away from this person. Whatever this is that they, the story that they told these tales to fuck up your reputation. Um, they felt, they felt some kind of way. They could have told this to your family that there was something wrong with you. Whatever this partnership was, this, this could be a friend. Whatever this was, like, 
you were guided to move away from this person and then they possibly told people that they walked away from you or they wanted nothing to do with you because they felt betrayed that you moved away from this person. You found peace once you walked away from this person and they were really like this. That's really how they felt. So now what? Thank you. Oh. That's change. That That's independence. That's also celibacy. Single. So you walked away. You, you, you done gone celibate on the motherfucker. Hmm? And you changed. You're healthy. You're beautiful. Somebody could have possibly said that, that they walked away from you because uh, you looked like death or um, the Scorpio energy. But they could have basically said that like everything, like you have bad luck or you don't have anything or... You know, I, if it wasn't for me, this person would have, and now it's like you completely change, like you, like transformers, right? More than meets the eye. That's what I just heard in my head. I'm not going to say that it's coming from another realm. That's just what I feel like fit here. And then somebody also, there could be a Scorpio that they have a family with as well. You want, oh. You were, you were guided to move away and stay away from this person because they were coming off single. And this person possibly had, either they are a Scorpio, but there's a Scorpio here that somebody has a whole family with. So I'm guessing that, that something's coming out about the stuff that this person said about you. For, for it to be, because I don't like talking about petty shit and they know that. So I don't feel like this would just be, yeah, then that's that. It must be, it must have been extreme, the stuff that they said. So let's see. Let's talk about it. Mm. Let's talk about it. Let's see. Envy, childish, jealous. This could literally be divine feminine. This could be a whole dude that was jealous of you. Compared to, they could have compared, oh no. So somebody could have compared you to somebody else and put somebody else on a pedestal and talked about, like they talked trash on you. And now I'm guessing that something changed with this death card. Somebody transformed. Huh? How old are you? Right. This is very childish person. I got Scorpio is the only major I have here now. I mean, Earth's here and fire. They're all here. Actually, there's no fire here. Hmm. All right. That's oh. Cusper. How old are you, Cusper? <laughs> there's also somebody who acts like an angel who's a storyteller. <laughs> I don't know what Cusper this is. Let's just find out. I mean, I don't really know a lot about the cuspers. A Taurus. Taurus Aries, possibly. Who else? What's up? There's also somebody here that's very childish. It could be an Aquarius and a Taurus are both are both childish. I also see that there could be someone else who's a cusper of a, of a, some sort um, that is like very immature. But I feel like they. Um, They come off like they're a healed individual or that their wishes are fulfilled or that they're, this is spiritual with the Hierophant and the star. Like this is, this would be somebody that's childish with something that's spiritual. Like if, I don't know, this person's storyteller, they could have a platform. Tell me more about this cusper. I don't really want to stay on this though. I like to get multiple messages today and just see, cause I know it's really, it's difficult for one whole message 
all the way through to, to hit so many people. And I try to incorporate other things with it so that everybody can actually like get something out of the video. Doesn't always happen though. I feel like in secret, like this person is really stuck right now. This person, I do feel like this person speaks and, and when they speak, they act like they're healed and they're happy and they've learned lessons and, but there's something here about somebody being childish and very secretive Pisces energy as well. Yes. Thank you, spirit guides. Okay. Yes. So that's what this is. There's some, someone's playing. Yeah. Karma. So, so, someone is really going through it. Someone's really actually going through this. I got Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, but this could just be whoever this person is, this cusper who's immature. Yeah, so let's get off this. So I don't know what that means for you, but maybe this person watches my stuff and it's going to resonate that somebody's, you know if you're childish or not. You know if you're petty. It's, give, it's just petty. It's giving me petty. But I also do see that there's somebody that you dated from your past. Did we need to know anything about this? Because let me ask, let me pull on this, this first um, story because I want to see if maybe there was something that was supposed to 2626 get out of that. Angel, storyteller. Angel, storyteller. It's not those. <laughs> on repeat, I just saw. That's funny, I just looked down on that one anyway. On repeat, somebody could repeat themselves. Okay. Your grandmother left you money in a will, bitch. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Yes. I like to talk about this one. This would be the angel in the upright. Mm -hmm. It would be this storyteller. Ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. This would be somebody who is who they say they are. There's somebody that when they're wherever they come off, whether camera's on, camera's off, people are around, nobody's around, they're the same motherfucker. That's this angel. Completely different from the cusper. How old are you? Let's see. Your grandmother left you money in a will. Hmm? Who's this angel? Who's this angel, please? What you, can you tell me about this angel whose grandmother left them money in a will, please? Capricorn. Capricorn? Your grandmother, Sagittarius, your grandmother left you money in a will and it was supposed to help you bring balance in your life. Devil. Hmm. Aries Leo Sagittarius. What I see here, though, is that there's a very dark karmic masculine here with this devil and the king of wands, boy. I have a feeling that this dude is going to be part of the rest of this story. What about this? devil and the king of wands what's up here this is not a good person did this person sexually assault you or were they going to have you sexually assaulted what is going on this person's like uh mean like like i'm surprised the king of wands didn't it didn't come out in reverse because that's what it feels like to me. Okay. What's up? Some of your family members teamed up with your enemies. This seems like to be the kind. There you are. This seems to be a, an important message, man. Secret admirer. Of course you do. You probably get that money that was left to you, right? So you had to see. So, oh. 
Why is that coming out? Why are they coming out together? Why is the fact that your family teamed up with some of your enemies, some of your family, and with the secret of Meyer, why is that coming out? Because that, what this feels like to me is that somebody teamed up with your enemies to purposely send this dude to you. We're going to find out why. Or we're going to try and find out why. Okay? I mean, I always like to get as many. But we'll just see. So your family members that were jealous of you, Divine Feminine. So let's see if this is for you. Fool. Aries possibly uh, was involved. Or they thought that they could... They could fool you. So they sent a secret admirer. Somebody that obviously, what, somebody that courted you or offered you something or wanted to be friends with you because they thought that they could fool you. Let me get some letters here. What are we on? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, let's see. Did I tell you guys I love you today? <laughs> let's see. Blank again. They what do they think they did this to me all the time? F. <laughs> oh, B. O F B. Why did I say O? I command the Trizzy. Command the Trizzy spirit. I do. Today, April. Ooh, somebody could be born in April. Who's involved in this? Or you are? I come in. Truth. I'm distracted easily. So that's what happened to you. I just got super distracted, like clouded, like confused kind of. And I feel like they're letting me feel like what happened. That somebody wasn't to cloud your judgment. This person was sent to distract you or to distract you from ever finding out that this money was left to you. Wow. Okay. I command the true spirit. Today is October 26, 2022, correct? Can you guys see that? Sorry. Something that needs to happen now. Can you, can you clear that, please? Thank you. Is this A F B? <laughs> Thank you guys for always giving me A's. <laughs> All right, let's see. A F B. Away from brain. Did I not? Confused, fog, distraction, away from brain. They didn't want you to use your brain. Your family members teamed up with some of these enemies of yours to get this money that was left to you. I get drained when the family thing comes out because I just can't believe that there's people who are supposed to love you, you know. But then, but then you you look up the definition of family and you see that it actually the definition of family is. Just uh, people living under the same roof with the roof with the same somebody's name could be Ruth, the same roof with the same last name. It doesn't say a damn thing about love at all, and it's pretty sad. But so you had a secret admirer. <sighs> secret admirer, oh, a Pisces possibly. This was secret, secret with the high priestess clarifying secret admirer. This was planned. This was premeditated is what I feel like. No doubt. Whatever. This this whole thing was orchestrated specifically to keep you from, for somebody to get this money. High Priestess. High Priestess. Thank you. This person was broke. This person was secretly fucking broke. They were going through struggle. They didn't want to let you know. 3434. 34. So is that how they came to you? That they come to you to set you up or say, here, come here, or I can help you or something like that? Because that's what it feels like. It feels like somebody offered, but they wanted they wanted to they wanted to get in your life because of this money. So 
This person was secretly fucking broke. They were poor. And they acted like they were content. They acted like they had things because they knew that you were the opportunity. You were the opportunity. I'm sorry, I just got hyped up. They were going through struggle. They could have actually offered you something because you were going through struggle. But there was ulterior motive here. They were working together with your family members. Some of your family members knew about all of this. What was supposed to be the outcome? You could have been going through the dark night of the soul when this whole the whole thing transpired. What was the outcome? Oh, look, fucking hate and revenge. This and this together is like giving me like um like abuse to the point of suicide or something. Like that's what they wanted. Greed. So people in real life don't like to talk to me. So, all right, these people uh, probably lied about you. So if this was the kind of thing where they were they were setting you up to either have you go bye-bye or have you lose your mind and then they can uh, 302 you and take your money or they could marry you secretly and then plot your death. And, and there's just what the money thing on this. I, I, punish me completely. I actually have been, though, because I just came back from, from that lost everything and it was freeing for me actually because I realized these things why would we have attachments to these things like you can lose things on a daily basis why do we get so upset over material things and then when it comes to actually people that are just like us other another human being we just let them go like it's nothing it's crazy it's, it's just it's sad I don't even it's fucking sad, and, and, and you know if the universe knows if I ever go to that, I never put some uh, money over somebody's life, though. I can fucking say that a thousand percent. I may have put money or other things before things that were more important, but I don't hold that shame and guilt. I make mistakes, and that's another thing for empaths. When you're always around people who are just mentioning your bullshit and they project that shit onto you, you feel shame and guilt. And they feel nothing. And this is why when you feel shame and guilt, you can't manifest. They feel good. When people say um, they're vampiring off your energy and stuff like that, energy harvesting, what does that mean? Because I feel like people hear people say this and they don't give an explanation of what it means. This is my uh, humble opinion. And somebody's constantly bringing up your fucking flaws or your mistakes and you're actually doing better but they don't talk about that because the whole point is to keep you in low vibration because what they don't realize is they're broken and they're hurt and they need healing and putting you down secretly makes them feel better they're so secret about it which is why nobody picks up on the shit okay they secretly feel better when you're down these types of people that means they harvest off your energy they can get a reaction out of you. That's what people like this like. Unfortunately, this is the truth. And it's going to help people understand why you lose every time you're around people like this. And they gain. And it seems like why, when you have the phrase, why do good people seem to have so much? It's not that. I feel like, the, I mean, the bad people seem to win. The bad people win because the good people won't put fucking boundaries up and keep them up. The good people are the reason that the bad people, if they're not stealing, and, and even so, like we let people steal from us on certain on certain occasions in different situations, correct? So, it both sides. I always try to do this because it humbles the fuck out of me to actually look at shit this way and not have things always have to be just one sided. There is always two sides to every story, and they both should contain the truth. Why does it have to be your version, your version, and the truth? Why can't it be your version is the truth and bitch, your version is the truth? Like, why do we have to live like this? I don't get it, but wasn't built in a day, so you can't save it in a day, I guess, right? But, um, I mean, shit, I just don't understand. 10, 10. You know, I got to show you. So I just hope that people start realizing this. You know what I mean? I didn't even really mean to go on a tangent like that for so long. But I'm actually going to end it because I want to finish my coffee. I love you. Uh, we're not going nowhere though. Okay, we're not going nowhere. This was just kind of like a fucking thrown together. I didn't even really know what I was doing. So I'm going to have to go over it before I title this. I love you guys. Billy out. <laughs>